This podcast is proud to be part of the TalkSport Fan Network. TalkSport. Powered by fans. Ryan Reynolds here from Mint Mobile. You know, it's hard to believe that inflation is still a thing, but boy, it sure is. And that's exactly why Mint Mobile still gives you premium wireless for just $15 a month. Well, it's also because we have that offer printed on, like, a million t-shirts, but it's mostly the inflation thing. So give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. Upfront payment of $45 for three months required. New subscribers only. Renew for 12 months to lock in savings. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See mintmobile.com. Right, let's get this show on the road. Where have you in the world? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Welcome to Bradford City versus Stockport County in the EFL Skybet League 2 at 7.45pm tomorrow. The referee is Lewis Smith. I've just been doing a bit of digging on Mr Smith. And he has had four championship appearances. He's given out 15 yellow cards, one red card. EFL Trophy, he's had two appearances, seven yellow cards, no red cards. League One, he's had uh, seven appearances, 26 yellow cards, one second yellow and one red card. In League Two, he's given nine, in nine appearances, he's given 34 yellow cards, one second yellow, two red cards and is given three penalty kicks. In the FA Cup, he has one appearance, eight cards, no send, uh, sending offs. Uh, EFL Cup, he's had three appearances and 16 yellow cards. Altogether, he's given 106 yellow cards, two second yellow cards, three red cards, and four penalties altogether. So Bradford City are currently 10th in League Two, Stockport are at the top. Stockport have played 24 games. Goal difference is 29, 50 points. Bradford City are 10th. They've played 23. They've got a goal difference of one and on 33 points. In the last couple of games we have played, going back to September 2010, Bradford City drew one all. Then in the 26th, uh, 26 February 2011, Bradford City won 3 2. October the 8th, 2020, Bradford City lost 1 0. January the 24th, Bradford City drew 0 0. And August the 15th, Stockport won, Bradford City won. And I am joined by my regular host, Miss Diane. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I am fine, thank you. Yourself? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I'm getting bored now. I want to go back to work. <laughs> that is bad. That is bad. You must be bored. I am. I am. I hope that referee's not card happy tomorrow night. Just looking at the stats there, he's been dishing out yellow cards left, right and centre. Yeah, so let's see what happens tomorrow night because I've got a feeling we're dishing out a few more, I bet. He'll probably be card happy, won't he, tomorrow, I reckon? Yeah, they will be. He will be. And don't forget when last time we played Stockport last year, how he had that brilliant goal line save, header off the line, didn't he? Yep. Uh, yep. Ooh, we got someone's just joined. Hello, Anthony. Good evening, my friend, the admin on the Bradford City of the Chickens. So, trying to find some team news again. Uh, <laughs> nope, there's Jack All. Uh, so just having a quick butchers. David Chandler wants League Two top dog Stockport to command City's big stage and Chase Valley Parade hat trick. Ooh, very Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. Yep. And the beating is there something, but it sounds like that. Yeah, beating mm. us three times, I think. Yep. So what's your thoughts on the game tomorrow? It's going to be a good game. It will be a good game. I, I'll be happy with a draw tomorrow night against Stockport. But Stockport, didn't they? They lost on... Did the, no, they drew on, on... What day? On Tuesday. They drew on Tuesday, didn't they? 
Did the draw yep. win? I can't remember. Up at Barrow, I'll won't they? Find out. There you are. Uh, tomorrow's Friday, innit? Tomorrow. I hate yeah. it when it's Christmas. You lose track. That's what I mean. I've lost track. I've lost track. Amazing I didn't get up thinking it was Sunday because I went to see my dad yesterday. Uh, it was 2 2 at Barrow. Yeah, Barrow 2 2. So, team form for Stockport, they've drawn against Markham. Uh, they've lost against Aldershot in the Cup. They absolutely tanned Sutton 8 0. And yeah. then they played Notts County 1 2 1. And then Barrow 2, Stockport 2. And with our form, Forest Green, we won 3 0. Bradford won 4 0 against Liverpool Academy. 2 0 against Gillingham. 3 1 against Doncaster. And the magnificent comeback uh, against Markham on Tuesday. On Tuesday was 2 all. Yes. So. Oh, have we, Ian? Are you here, Ian? Lee, oh, sorry, Lee, sorry, I'm blind as well. Lee, are you there? I did. Let me just go back into a question. He's requested. He's he's speaking. He's got yeah. the power. Yeah. So, what's your thoughts on Osadebe performance? My, I hope they don't play him. Literally, because don't forget, as soon as he went off at half time on Tuesday, we played better. Yeah, we did. True, right? We played better. We played a lot better. Yeah, I hope they don't play. I know it sounds awful, but I hope they don't play him. Yeah, he had a bit of a, a mare, didn't he, really? Yeah. So, with Ossie Debe, what did you think was wrong with him? Because I know he gave away the ball, didn't he? And then. Yeah. To the, for the goal, uh, not Lewis's fault. And then he no. gave it away in midfield as well. So at half yeah. time, I'm actually proper glad he came off. And personally, I'm going to say it, I, I don't think he should play for City again after that performance. Cause Od no, Od people have said, get rid of him. Because Od Oddo came on, didn't he? And he, he did absolutely, he teared, he did really well. He came on, scored a goal and did really well. Yeah. So what? Uh, who do you think he will pick tomorrow? Do you think he'll have the same team? Do you think he'll change it about? What do you think he'll do? I think he might keep the same team that started on Tuesday, but keep Hello. But take us a day be off. Can anybody hear? Hello, me? we Hiya. can hear you, Lee. Uh, Coming in loud and clear. Welcome. Hi. Have you had a bit of technical difficulties? Yeah, my mic was muted for some reason. Oh, it's unusual. I so really what's... admit something like that being an online DJ. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. You get, he's getting sacked in the morning. No, I work for yeah, myself. Definitely. I'm not going to sack myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your thoughts on the game tomorrow, Ollie? Ah, it's going to be tough. And as you've already been saying, I hope Osa DB is not playing. I'd love to see point and play. I would. And do you think he'll stick with the same thing? I think he will. Do you think he'll change anything or do you think he'll just stick with the same team? I'd like to think he'd see the logic in dropping Osadibi because he's not really doing anything. I think he's trying too hard, I think, is his problem. I don't know. Yeah, I agree with you there. I call him la Laggy Band Lens, be Laggy Bag, Laggy Bag, whatever it is, Laggy Band Legs, because when he comes on, he just seems to struggle all the time. And he, he always seems to struggle to, uh, to take, just to basically to run with the ball. Well, he, get, he gets him way, because he, he, <laughs> he's never really where you think he should be. He's, he's usually trying to follow the ball on its own, and he, he's. We walk, uh, he knows when to run, he knows where to run. Yeah. Pointing has that about him, he has that kind of football brain. Also, is just trying to add. He, he needs dropping and he needs someone to stick their arm around him and tell him where he's going wrong. Yeah, 100% agree there. Uh, he just seems to struggle, doesn't he, when he comes on? He does. He, he, I don't know. I don't know if it's because of when he broke his leg, what a terrible day that was, and it was really bad luck for him, but something like that takes a lot of getting over. 
Yeah, I don't. I, I think he has not recovered, has he? Really, I from his so. uh, from his injury. I don't think so. And we don't have like a B team anymore, do we, for him to play in? So he hasn't been able to prove his fitness. Really, you can't play him in under twenty ones, can you? So yeah, true. So would you start him or would you leave him out tomorrow? I'd leave him out. Totally. I wouldn't even have him on bench. Fair point. There's players to come in, what, what Chapman? There's, yeah, Chapman. The who seems to be a forgotten man pointing. Um I heard a rumour that he were injured, then I heard um when they were talking to Alec Alexander the other day, the, he was saying, well, no, he's training and he's training well, but uh, and he, he didn't really make a comment on it, yeah. which we're mystifying. He's young, he's enthusiastic, he's got skills. He just needs the stage to show it. Yeah, true. So what score do you think it'll be tomorrow? I'm going to go for the old standby, 2-0 to us. 2-0 <laughs> I always go 2-0 And then there's their score And rubbish is that So Is 3-1 still 2-0? <laughs> <laughs> it can be It is in my head <laughs> Yeah That's making Harry let a goal in Don't uh, tell me about that they were not, Do you know, you know what? The goal he let in against Morecambe could have been so easily avoided If he'd have run towards the ball And tackled the man Instead of Yep. Trying to get back in his goal, which he'd no chance from there. Yeah. I've played in goal myself, yeah, just definitely. Don't, yeah, just don't, it's just don't wind down for that. I'd have kicked the ball and the attacker into the middle of Rosehead. <laughs> Simple well, as. What did you make of, uh, what did you make of Drystall performance that day? <clears throat> God. I have nightmares about him when he referees us. Do you, think a, do you think it were a penalty or a dive? I think it was a penalty all day long for me. Uh, they never left Cook alone. Definitely. How many times did he end up on, sat on the seat of his pants? Oh, quite a few times, wasn't it? Yeah, they were making sure he didn't score, which left space for a door and uh, Odwara, however you pronounce that. And Allardyce. The most well-deserved goal all season for me. He's, yep. he's just been head and shoulders above everybody else as a player. Everybody so knocked him last the, year, and I am so pleased he's playing so well, I am. So looking at the team, what we played, Markham, Lewis in goal, Halliday, Tompkinson, Platt, Kelly, Richardson, Gilead, Smallwood, Halliday, Ossie Debbie, Smith and Cook. So, like you're saying there, with that team, I would remove Ossie Debbie, get him out. For sure. For sure. And then put uh, Odor there. Uh, Odor or Chapman to have him running wide. Well, Chapman's worked well with Allardyce before. Hmm. Uh, Wilson, at, Wilson at left back is okay. But I'd switch him at half time and I'd bring somebody like Redalsh in. Just for his delivery. Just for his delivery. Alone. He's not a full back. He's he's a wing back. But let him do what he does best. You've got a three man back you know, a back three that are coping. Mm. He only needs to go back now and again. He needs to be getting up. And bombing on and putting ball in middle for Cook. Because there's not much coming in from left unless Walker decides to go over there and he's injured. So yeah. hopefully not for long. <laughs> so I talked about the team. So mm. who do you think we will play well tomorrow against the Stock Park because I know Stock Park are a very hard team to break down. I don't think we could play any worse than that first half against Morecambe. We were second best all over the pitch and I uh, put it down to too much Christmas pud maybe. I don't know. Fair point, yeah. Too many Yorkshire puddings. Uh. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Pigs in blankets. Oh. Oh. No, you're making me feel hungry now. <laughs> It's all right. We always talk about food. Right. Yeah, my kind of channel. Always like. change it. To, <laughs> always talks in a food podcast. This we always. I'm surprised, surprised nobody's eating. Somebody's normally having like a fish finger sandwich or something. Like that, oh no! Oh, no, no you mentioning all my favourites now. Got to be addict though. I've got my quality streets next to me. What Nick Saw gave me, you know. <laughs> but I have had my tea, so I'm all right. Uh, so we've had a guy called Dave Hughes. Evening, gents slash women. I'll add that. Stockport Thank fan you. here. Yeah, he's just put gents. <laughs> Hiya, Dave. Great, thanks. How's it going? Hey, Dave. So, so <laughs> Dave Hughes, you're not related to Mark Hughes, are you, Dave? Stockport fan here. Thoughts on tomorrow? Thoughts on tomorrow? I think we're going to struggle a little bit tomorrow. Uh, I think we possibly might sneak it 1-0. I know your team's very well, playing very well at the minute. And... Um, just watch your thoughts, Dave, if you want to type it in. And hopefully I'll see it. So I just saw that by looking at it there. I think they'll be playing Bailey up front. Or these, that lad that's on loan from, uh, is it Salford? Oh, oh, yeah, that one that they've just got on loan. Yeah, yeah. He's on loan. Yeah. He's on loan from Villa, isn't he? Well, he'd had words. No, he's from Salford. I thought he was on loan from Villa. No, I watched the thing today because uh, they've sacked the manager of Salford, haven't they? Yeah. And there was and the name that... is Mark Hughes. <clears throat> Have I? Is he on loan I've not heard that. He's on loan from Salford and the, the manager, Neil I've, Woods, I've... they've sacked him. And this oh, Bailey that's on loan with Stockport now had had a fallout with him. That's why he'd gone. That's the start. I thought he was on loan from Villa. No. Unless he's bit, unless he's on loan from Villa. Yeah, I think he's on loan. Then Stockport. Pass. Yeah, I think he's on loan because on that documentary. Oh, he's on loan with Stockport, but they're on. He's about, on loan. It gives them on... a better chance of signing him now, so because he had yeah. a fallout with with Woods at uh, Salford. Pass. I might have misread it. It it, it happens. Yeah, I no, think I've seen I've seen that on Twitter. Yeah, because yeah, I think he's on loan from Villa. I think that's where it's come from. He's on loan from Villa. I'm not sure. Some that documentary is is gone from the is gone from Salt uh, gone from Villa to Salt. I, us I usually delve into uh, into Google, but I am done on that one. Cause here we go. So Barry's replied. Be a tough game for us. I think. Barry is on loan from Villa and injured. Bailey is a winger, midfielder from Salford. Goes back in Jan, but hopefully we're trying to buy him. Yeah, that's the one. But he's he's doing well for Stockport, his lad. So, bit of a danger, man. One to watch. By all oh accounts, God. you never know. We might end up signing him. <laughs> Johnny, Good day. January's only round the corner. It's only a few more days. Uh, yeah, I'm expecting goals, 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 and tomorrow. I'm expecting a clean sheet. I, I want a clean oh, yeah, sheet yeah. for a change. <laughs> I keep predicting a clean sheet. Lewis had a bit of a loose start at the beginning of the season, but he's getting it now. Yeah, he's yeah. getting better. He's got his confidence. Yeah, I agree on that one. I don't think it, when, when they got rid of Hughes, I, don't, I think it shook him. And do you think Mark Hughes will go to Salford? Uh, if he's wanted, well, he could. I would imagine he might be hanging about for better bets. Don't know. Yeah, well, Duff Gates. He doesn't need money. The thing is, he, he doesn't need money, does he? He's been wise. You can sign him. Oh, Dave Hughes, you can sign him, but. Salford played him for four mins in a cup match, so he can only play for us or them. So he can't, yeah. So he can't play for two teams at once. No, no, no. Well, no, it's going to happen till January anyway. So it yeah, remains to be seen. There, I think it? if anybody, if he's enjoying himself at Stockport, one I want to get back is Jay Young. Desperate for him to play in this setup that they have now. Really am. 
So yeah. do you think January the first? Do you think the uh, the the fax oh. machine will go out? And do you think he'll be coming returning back to City? I hope so. I hope so. I rated him. I don't know why they let him go. He should have played him. So, there was a problem with him and Hughes, allegedly. I don't know. So Dave Hughes has just put on uh, basically how's life about Mark Hughes. Dave, better, <laughs> better <laughs> mate. It's better. It's <laughs> <him better>. <laughs> if you, if honestly, if Salford get Mark Hughes, you just be watching it from the back. He like tries to play like Barcelona from the back, and it does not work. I remember. Uh, I know Diane's going to be shuddering at me and giving me the evils from a mile off, but when when we played out from the back, it caused Harry Lewis absolute trauma. It did. It, it did. He kept giving the ball away. Things just kept going wrong. Well, that's what happened. It was it? horrible, mate. Yeah. Pass back. From yeah, but Allardy. it wasn't his fault. No, it was a bad that wasn't pass. his fault, though. No, it was a bad pass from Allardy that put pressure on him. Because it won't into box. He, he, if he'd have put it into box, he'd have probably welled it up over halfway. But he, he didn't. <laughs> and he got, yeah, he, he got just robbed. Smashed it, shouldn't he? Really should have been Rose Ed or somewhere, anywhere except you know. So uh, we're going to just get your uh, Diane. What's your prediction on the score? First of all, um, I'm going to go. I know I said that I want Harry to have a clean sheet, but I might let him have a goal again. I'm going to go 3 1 to us. I don't know why. I want Harry to Good call. Okay. Good call. Fair dues. Right. So moving on, because I know I need to add a bit of structure to this podcast because uh, yeah. it's been going a bit south recently. <laughs> I do beg so, uh, Callie's not on. That's why. <laughs> Callie's not here. I'll stand. I'm missing them. Mm-hmm. We're not fully fit team. Must we are. Have we got injuries? Yeah, we've got injuries there. Uh, I don't know what's up with them, actually. They must be doing something. Uh, so, moving on to... G- I know we tipped, uh, did a bit of a Titanic and tipped, uh, touched on the tip of the iceberg. So, January, who would you? what players would you say you want to leave? I won't be too disappointed if OCDB left. A forker, he can go back to wherever he came from because we've seen nothing of him. Tullock, would I keep him? Probably not, if I'm honest. We've got players that already at the club. We've got too many players. He keeps saying that, but he needs to lighten the load a little bit. And maybe then, if they get rid of some of them, the ones that are left might try that bit harder to get in that team. Might see more yeah. from them. I don't know. Team building's a funny thing. And I'm glad it's left so, the manager and not me. <laughs> so I'll just quickly get the team up. So, except, uh, player profiles. So currently we've got Harry Lewis, Colin Doyle, Heath Richardson in goal. I think he's per- on loan at Cleethorpes. Yeah, he's on loan. I personally think we need to invest in a new backup goalkeeper just to give I Harry agree. Lewis a bit of a kick up the ass. I agree. Because like yeah. Harry Lewis could have actually like I don't know, like four goals in tomorrow. No, and then the following week. <laughs> I know, but all right, he could concede quite a few goals, but <laughs> then uh I know. She she's giving me evils, I can feel it from a mile off. I'm not giving you the evils, don't worry. I can feel I'm them. I can feel it. I as long as we tension. score five, I don't care how many you let's do if I'm on it. Yeah. Put it this way, my dad yesterday were taking doing jokes about Harry to me. So they were making me laugh, we were doing jokes about him to me all the time. I, I was so, okay. a happy I was, yeah. city fan when they got rid of O'Donnell, because for me he was <laughs> People from my day would call a flapper. I've never seen goalkeepers though, yeah. that could dive backwards like he could and totally miss the ball. <laughs> yeah. Terrible. So I think we need a backup goalkeeper just to keep Harry Lewis on his toes. I think so. Keep Halliday, keep Halliday ride all on a 50-50 on him. The, the one Taylor. thing he's got in his favour, right, Dals, for me, is he can put a ball into 
danger area. His delivery on dead ball is great. He's not got much pace. He gets turned too easy. But going forward, I, I, he's good. But he's not a fullback. That's the thing. Yeah. Ash Taylor, I don't rate. Platt, I do rate. Stubbs, <clears throat> mm, he's okay. Uh, Luke Hendry, I know he's out on loan currently. Uh, Kelly's playing well. Then we've got another... Os, I can't, remember, can't pronounce his name. A-D-U-S-I-N-A. -S defender. I've just seen that he's on loan, isn't he? he he's out on loan. Uh, then we've got Oki Koki. I think I know they've had a chit chat and they've reduced the stuff on that. Uh, then we've got Har Harvey Rowe, youth player. See, Cousin Dawson chance. out on loan. No. Richardson's playing well. Uh, Jonathan Co Tompkinson, I would love to buy, get him permanently. He's a good player. He's a very good player, yeah. Smallwood's, got better. Smallwood's better now that Hughes has done one. I think Shackles Jamie are off playing. Them. Yep. Uh, Jamie Walker playing well. Ossie Debe, yeah, get him out. No, He's not very good. Probably end up at National League somewhere or I would think, Wrexham. I would think. I would have got rid of him uh, before. Who is it that, that, that's in Grimsby? Then we've got Patterson. Uh, He's a good player, but always injured. He it doesn't, it doesn't yeah. have to recover. Uh, Alex Gilead playing good. Oddo's playing well. Chapman's playing well. Kevin McDonald, I don't know what's going to happen to him. I think he might leave in January because he just doesn't seem to get any games. He's, he's just... No, but we're on bench, weren't he, on um, Tuesday? Anymore. Yeah, but he didn't come on, did he? No. no. I'd keep him, personally, for now. And then add him to your sort of training, your coaching squad. I don't know. Then we've got Freddie Jeffers, young guy. Uh, we've got Andy Cook, keep. Tyler Smith, keep. Oliver, keep. Bobby Point and keep. Give him a new deal. Uh, Derbyshire, I think he should go. Definitely. The 45-year-old, yeah. however old he is. His legs have gone. Yeah, his legs are gone. Bring back Jake Young, definitely. Wilson's a good player. Then we've got Tulluk. Tulluk. <clears throat> yeah, send him back. And off Koe. Af Afko. I'd, I'd only keep who you intend to play. Hang on, my microphone's fainting. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, the bear droop. Sorry. <laughs> bear droop. Bear droop. <laughs> Have you never had microphone droop? Oh, dear. How, how, can, how can your microphone go limp? It, it needs tightening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Everyone should know this, Pete, that this podcast is not PG. So if you are kids are watching, switch off now. <laughs> hey! Yeah, is anybody getting funded in like funding near theirs? No. I'm over. Have you opened your wallet again? Oh. I'm over on Bailey. What, have I opened my wallet? No. Yeah, have you opened your wallet, Thunders? I don't know where everybody is, but I'm on Bailey and it seems fine here. I've had a bit of rain. Well, yeah. no, this, I'm in East Bowling and I'm blooming. Mean, so it might be some... Somebody messing about with something, but... Ah, here we go. So, the person, the man in seat 67, I like him because he always posts... Oh, I'll make it bigger. Uh, he always posts stuff, and he's done some stats. So, Andy Cook, he's basically... He's comparing Andy Cook to Isaac... Can't even pronounce his last name. Olofi. Olofi. Oh. Uh, so he's rating a seven. His goals, 10. Expected goals, 8.5. This is for Andy Cook. Four assists. Minute on the pitch, 174. Shots on target, 1.9. Player of the match, twice. Matches played, 20. Minutes played, 1,742. Then the player who can't pronounce, rating of 6.99. He scored 13 goals. Expected goals, 10.1. Assists, 3. Minutes on the pitch, 1-3-1. One, one. Shots on target per minute, 1.5. Player of the match, twice. Matches played, 24. And minutes played, 1,703 minutes. Is this that a Forker? 
Y- uh, that's that. I can't remember his name. Uh, o L O L yeah F- yeah O L A O F E. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. <laughs> Wish he could do something like them stats for us, but he didn't. He hadn't had a look in, has yeah. he? He played a couple of pre-seasons, never saw him again. Yeah, not very good, is he? Nah. Watch. So, uh, sorry, talked about transfers. Anything, anyone else got anything to talk about? Do you know what about your players? Uh, Italy, who do you want to keep and get rid of? i pretty much go along with what you said, but I'd get rid of also DB first and foremost. Um, Ridal, if he goes... Oh, we did have some lightning. I just saw it. Ah, so it's not just no, me, then. Handsome it's thunder. Thunder, handsome lightning. thunder. Yeah, it's not just me, no. then. And uh, welcome, welcome, everybody, to the new podcast, The Weather Forecast for Bradford. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so it's now, it's now, it's coming live. Forget about the Met Office and everybody watching on Facebook and Twitter. Forget Remember. what's happening at the Met Office. It's all about what's what's happening live well, in Yorkshire. Is, with this weather, will the game even go ahead this week? We've had a lot of rain. I it does. We've had a lot of rain. I can't say much, but I know the pitch is looking okay. Oh, that's good. Good to hear. <laughs> That's um, me keeping stum now. No, no, no. I hope right. it goes ahead. I get bored. I've got to be right. honest, I'm disabled. That's why I do online DJing. So I was involved right. and injured in the Bradford fire. So. Oh. I don't get out. Much. So looking. <laughs> so you join me live now. So I've got to open my PC. The weather forecast the weather forecast. for the oh, next cu- oh. next couple of hours. <laughs> so this is standing at 7.32 Greenwich Mean Time, and this is from Keefley. The rain is expected to stop soon, but it's 7 degrees outside. The rain stopped in 16 minutes. Lightning strike detected mine, uh, 5 kilometres away, and it's going to come over. It's going to come over through Bradford to Leeds, and I don't do it like proper weather forecast here. So the weather forecast is moving over to the south, uh, north, uh, heading over to the east, and then r- more rain will be coming over through Bradford. That has been your weather forecast today. <laughs> Join us next time. One, one comment on that. It can do what it wants when it gets to Leeds, because I'd probably do the same me sin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lad. Oh, God. So, the weather tomorrow, what do you reckon, guys and girls? The weather tomorrow, would you like me to tell you what it's going to be like tomorrow? Yep, I don't, um, now we're head over live to Diane in Bradford <laughs> for tomorrow's uh, weather today. forecast. Guess what, light rain and a moderate breeze at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, light rain. So there you go. Yeah, it's meant to be fine up Meant to be fine up until 12, then rain for a bit, then fine from um, 3 o'clock till 6 o'clock. And then when the football's on, what a surprise, we're meant to have rain. Nice. So, oh, yes. we've talked about the game. We've talked about <laughs> food. About weather. We've talked about the weather. <laughs> what else are we going to talk about, Diane? I've just been flashed I again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thinking out loud. <laughs> Oh God, Tony uh, Lee, you can you can come next week. I'm signing you up for next week. This is being comical gold. This. Hey, ask. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds here from Mint Mobile. I'm proud to offer premium wireless for just fifteen dollars a month, and I'm proud that we have thousands of five star reviews from customers like Dan D in New York, who writes, "I am satisfied, customer. How can this only be fifteen bucks?" He wrote it in all caps. I needed you to feel it like he feels it. I hope I did that justice, Dan. And I hope that you try Mint too at mintmobile.com slash switch. Upfront payment of $45 for three months required. New subscribers only. Renew for 12 months to lock in savings. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See mintmobile.com. Whether I don't know. I don't know what to talk about because, like I say, I'm going to let my man score a go, uh, have a goal in his net. As long as he's at my I end. Don't. I'm going to go against you there, I'm afraid. I don't want him letting anything in tomorrow. 
I want him to have this best game of the season ever. In fact, this is only his second season, and people forget that. And I, I think he's awesome. Because he is. And he set a record or something for. I think he, uh, it, it wouldn't be surprised. Clean sheets. Yeah. Clean sheets. Yes, I think he has. Or he's, he's, he's at least level with a record. Yeah, I think he is. I can't remember. Let me just have a look. I should really know this, shouldn't I? You should do. I should do. He's, he's you should do. One, is he number one? You. He's my number one. Yeah, I can't find anything on really what I normally use. Do, 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 do. Well. Ah, so there's been three draws. Head to head, there's been one win for City, three draws, and one win for Stockport. Got the same many Harry Lewis yeah. on here. Do, 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 do. Well, it's light, is it? <laughs> no, it's the lightning was. I saw it, Lee. Yeah, no, that's what I just said. <laughs> I saw it as well. I got flashed as oh, well. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> and then he followed through as well. I heard noise. Oops. <laughs> Come on, <Beth. laughs> Oh, oh, there we are. Harry Lewis Bradford. Whew, right, I'll just um, have a do. Uh, do, do, do. Career statistics. You having a stroke again? No, oh, I'm just trying to get his bloody statistics out. Right, he has paid, play. Oh, this is 22 23. Just saying about his 46, but I don't know. He's not updated. So if we have a look, um, just trying to see if the the man in seat sixty seven has he done any stats? Because uh, he's normally really really good for stats. Uh, highest attendance. So oh, Jonathan Tompkinson's doing well. Wise. He is. Oh, how he's made sixty six appearances for us. Oh, that's not bad. Sixty six. Yeah, no. Well, they haven't scored any goals. We were never present at all, weren't they, last season? So. Yeah. Oh, I hope we've got Thunder No Lightning that time. Oh, it's Harry, Ch Harry Charles John Lewis. Oh. Mm, that's his middle name, John Lewis, no. uh, Charles John. I wonder if he's that's related like to Lewis, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, is he related to, uh, has he got a friend called Morrison's and Sanders as well, and Tesco? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do you want me to ask him? Yeah. Both? Yeah, tell him we need to know. <laughs> it might have an urgency. <laughs> might have an urgency, yeah, I'll just do that. Lewis's. Well, they in Leeds, though. Don't have him. Don't mention them. Don't mention Lewis's. Yeah, we can't mention, no. can't mention mm. L word here. No. I, know I feel a little now because I just did. <laughs> so, do you reckon the rain covers will be on tomorrow? I think Probably. they'll be on now. Knowing him down at Valley Parade. I used to sell programmes at Valley Parade for a while. In our it's Premier really League game years. Goes <laughs> Stop. Hope the game goes ahead tomorrow because I, I know I'm a Salford game because I'm a bit poorly, but just a shame that that game got called off, really. Well, let me well, say, it's good to have you back pitch. live and kicking. <laughs> Definitely. I'm surviving just. Uh, so what time are we on? Uh, 20 to 38. God, I'm losing track of time now. Sammy, I don't even know what day it is anymore. I don't. Soon, soon be Friday. <laughs> yeah, early night for everybody tonight. Nah, probably. Um, I was up at half six this morning, making sure that I put my bin out. I was up at half six this morning, waiting for the alarm to go off, just so I could turn it off. <laughs> it's an exciting life It always is, isn't it? Right, right Bradford Let me see if I can get some stats up Because I know people love a bit of stats I do, don't I? Uh, Stockport head-to-head -head pre Preview, here we go Sports Mall Oh Found a bit of sports mall action, so I need to make this bigger because my eyesight is getting really bad. 
uh, close that video down there because it's full of ads. Both teams were attempt to extend unbeaten runs to five matches in League Two when Bradford City host Stockport County on Friday. Bradford were held 2-2 at home by Markham on Boxing Day while Stockport shared the spells away to Barrow with the same scoreline. Having put together four consecutive victories ahead of hosting Markham, Bradford would hugely be fancied their chance of making it five wins in a row at Valley Parade on Boxing Day. However, they found themselves at 2-0 down within the opening 80 minutes. Yada, yada, yada. Stockport, of course... Did. However, right, however, the top of the table was cut only at four points by Wrexham. Oh, Wrexham are doing well, aren't they? Uh, so Bradford lost 1-1-1-1 one, 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 one drawn. Bradford in our competition of 1-1-1-1 one, 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 one drawn. Stockport League 2 farms lost, draw, draw, 1-1 one, one, draw. Uh, our competitions lost, drawn, lost, 1-1 one, one, drawn. Team news, here we go. Bradford will remain without Alex Pattison due to hamstring strain. He just can't get a break, that guy. Midfielder missed out against Markham, having felt a niggle after coming on as a late sub against Doncaster as his side previous game. Jamie Walker may also be ruled out once again, with Alexander only change likely to hand in Odo a star, a star after the put a star star after twenty four year old made a decent impact off the bench against Markham. Stockport meanwhile will travel without oh god one of these names, Macron. Southam hails due to muscle problem. The 27-year-old has not featured since the 1-1 draw against Markham three weeks ago. Chancellor admits that the side were miles off during the first half against Barrow, meaning the changes are likely. Nick Powell and uh, Wright will both be expected to start their scoring crucial games from the bench, while Paddy McGann could also come visit attack. And then Bradford City's possible starting lineup is going to be Lewis, Tom Dickinson, Platt, Kelly, Holiday, Smallwood, Gilead, Richards, Odo, Cook, Smith. And Stockport's is Hinchcliffe, Wright, Horsfall, Pye, Richardson, Crossdale, Camp, Torre, Powell, Madden, and Wooten. And Smart, oh bloody hell, you're not going to like me here. Sparks Mall have predicted. Bradford won Stockport 2. No, you're wrong. Stockport have only kept one clean sheet on the road this season, so Bradford will certainly fancy their chances of scoring at the very least. The host would likely settle for another point to extend their unbeaten run. However, we expect the league leaders to build on their super fight back against Barrow and Boxing Day with the likes of Paul and Madder licking their lips if they receive a starting berth as expected. Hmm. So, what's your thoughts on that predicted team news, guys and girls? Good news if he's going to drop Ozzy Derby. Definitely. I would start a door and see yeah. how he does. Yeah, because he's playing well in here. I know he's came on, scored. The team really... Because Alexander must have given him the biggest bollocking of their life when... Uh, Obviously, when they were losing 2 0, I must have dragged them in there and told them off. And obviously, I'm glad Put that. Put a rocket up their ass. Yeah. No, i out, Pyro, are we? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Couldn't resist. <laughs> I know you could. No, we're not. No, can't have Pyro's. Uh, Especially up the rear. Actually, actually gonna, let's talk about Pyro's for the next uh, couple of minutes. Uh, just to well, say, what's your thoughts on it? Also, what do you think the punishment should be handed if they get caught? They should be handed a ban. Five-year ban, ban, definitely. Five-year ban. What they don't realise when they let these things off, club could get fined, that's fine. Could get sanctions, which might mean we don't get to take away fans to away games. All the tickets mm. go down. Yeah. Or... Yeah, yeah. Off. but not only that, could get points deducted. Somebody were telling me if it's severe enough, they'll deduct points. We can really do without that, and we can really do without fines. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent agree on there, William. Uh, so I know in the past, I think when the club have been 
fined and pyros have been involved. Like then, I think the following season, the allocation has been significant, significantly dropped. Yeah. So I think well, if Touchwood we're out of this league, uh, but if we're mm. not in this league, uh, if we're still in the league, I reckon when we play Doncaster, we will get hell of a lot less tickets. Yeah, well, it seems that didn't we last year get 4,000 tickets and this year we only got 3,000 tickets. So they dropped us down 1,000 there. Yeah, because I think there are more than us than them, weren't there? Like always, yeah. at games like that. So, yes, yeah, so I think that's definitely what's happened again. We just we just yeah. need to, you know... I know it goes against the grain, being a Bradford lad, but... We need to grasp them up. You'll see somebody with something suspicious. Dobby, man. Because you don't know what it's going to be. <laughs> you just don't yeah, need it. Yeah. You don't. And, they and give them to young kids. Publicity as well. Because young kids can't get searched. Yeah. So they give them to young kids to take in yeah. for them. It's like when... Because obviously I didn't go to the Doncaster game, but watching it on iFollow when it eventually got working... Uh, well, the five pyros what got thrown on the pitch, but then three, three, on thrown, pitch. three on the pitch and two in the yeah. concourse. So then, when looking at, uh, I think it's a weird days or summer on one of the few things I with, saw. I didn't see any goals, nothing. I follow as a waste of space. It's a waste of money. Going to move on to that in a minute, yeah. but uh, with the. So with the pyros, I know obviously the incident happened at Doncaster, but then looking on social media after the game, uh, sorry, the game yesterday, no, not yesterday, Tuesday, like Doncaster threw pyros on the pitch at their away game. So yeah, Swindon did as well. So something needs to happen, and I think the only way he's doing it is people, like you're saying, dob him in, or even if police get, if they get caught, I would say a lifetime ban from club yeah, because... Yeah, people, people are probably not educated, and I know, like you've you touched on it before, Lee, about the the Bradford fire. Yeah. Uh, you say you was in the Bradford fire, sorry. I was, yes, pulling people out at stand. Uh, if okay, right. If you uh, if you feel up to it, can you just tell us? Like, obviously, I know pyros are different, but does say you see a pyro at a game? Or near something of the smell, does it bring back? Yes. The no, like, does it bring back say. the trauma? Yes, it does. Does it bring back the trauma? It does. I can uh, I can see some on news and it brings it back and I'm in floods. I saw things that day that you would only see in a war zone. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, and they wanted to put me on drugs for for mental state and stuff like that, and I said, well. It's one of them things. You remember a happy thing, don't you? This is what a psychologist told me, not a psychiatrist. They just want to pump you full of drugs. You remember happy things. And in your mind, you can go back to that happy time, always. No matter what you're feeling, no matter what you're facing, you can go back to that happy place. And that's what I do to cope. But... You can't do that with PTSD, which is what I've got. I'll give it its name. Um, yeah. That will stay with me for the rest of my life. That's not going to change. I'll cope with it better, and I am coping with it better because, I mean, it was in 1985. Um, yeah. You, you, anything on the news, this thing in, you know, in Israel and all that stuff, people, it's just, it, it hurts. It hurts. So if yeah. you got a message for them people who bring pyros on, from, from like your heart, what would you like to say to them? You're hurting your own fans. You're hurting your friends, any of your family that were there that day. What would they think? Definitely. What would they think? What would it do to them to know that you're going there with the intention? I mean, it's like when they were talking about throwing tennis balls. They're only tennis balls. They're not going to hurt anyone, are they? Yeah. 
but it's just a pain in the ass having to wait for them to be cleared up and for whatever. If it had have happened, I hope it never does. Some of these groups get rup out and all that. Get a life. He's done more for this club than many others going back through history. And I've, I've, my first game at Valley Parade was in 1959. I was a baby, just born. Swansea City. All because my mum liked David Boyle, who was a Bradford City player at the time. <laughs> and told the story many, many times. So I'm Bradford City through and through. Mm. I can't bleed it. Oh, what? Glad at an amber enough, you know, it's just, it's, it's in my blood. It's as simple as that. Yeah, it's in my blood yeah. as well. I got turned down as a schoolboy on school, but at 15 years old and I went to play rugby, I ended up playing for Bradford that way instead for for Bradford over at Legit Green Rugby Union. I had a great career, but I'm six foot seven and Kennedy, who was manager at the time, said he didn't think I'd grow. <laughs> <laughs> so you're six foot seven and the, the manager said, you, in other words, you won't be a very good seven. defender. I want six foot seven then, no, with a flying <laughs> winger, believe it or not. I'm still faster what, than what Derbyshire was, now. <laughs> <laughs> what was your first game you went to, Diane? Mine was Birmingham City in 1987 wow. in October and Mark Leonard scored. Oh, I remember that Lenny. game. <laughs> yeah. I thought, it. can I just tell you, can I just make you laugh with this one? My dad took me and my mum to, we played Man City, all ticket. My dad took to <laughs> my mum. I think we scored. My mum's looking in the bag, comes out where on the cop can I have an action replay, please. Ah. <laughs> so me you can imagine me and my dad were just stood there going, Oh my god, I can't believe she's just yeah. done that. <laughs> With that So yeah. Was uh, that in eighty nine that man city again. No, it was eighty seven. When yeah. we played him in eighty nine, it went ninth of December. That was my wedding day. <laughs> I kept, okay. I kept going out to car to listen to seats to it. <laughs> <laughs> I just brought back a memory. So there. My, Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, all right. So my first game, I know I'm not, uh, shall we say, old as you two, but uh, <laughs> that's politely putting it. Yeah. Uh, my first game was 2000, I think it was 99, 2000, and it was Arsenal at Valley Parade, and I was sat in the TL of Dallas. I could not oh. remember the score off the top of my head. But I remember going and like getting the bug. Yeah, uh, you would do. Yeah, that would me. It was my. my f- I wanted to go. I remember going to Bradford City as a kid, and it was always magical. It was just magical. <laughs> yeah, I remember the little car that used to go around with the drinks and sausage Hot rolls dogs, on. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Sorry, Johnny. I'm definitely making myself feel old now. <laughs> Is this when telly were black and white, yeah? What's the telly? <laughs> you cheeky. <laughs> you cheeky. <laughs> get your when telly were black and white. Sorry, it just came colour. Did just, colour just get involved? I can remember tellys not oh, having BBC too. <laughs> How old do you think I feel now? <laughs> <laughs> I was 14 when I went to my first match. I want to even one. Try- I got distracted. I'm trying to think what else we were going to talk about. Because I, I, said, I said we were going to talk about it, weren't we? Then obviously we got distracted. We were yeah. going to talk about, um, I remember you said it. Now then, what was it? Now I forgot now. <laughs> if, anyone on, my work. if anyone on Facebook's listening or YouTube or any other social site who can remember what in the earth I'm going to come back to, please drop a message because we are all getting old now. Especially myself, I'm 33 year old now. You mentioned I follow. We were going to come to. Yeah. Ah, I'm glad, Lee. I'm glad you remembered. Right. So I follow. And uh, tell me if I'm wrong here. Uh, oh, just the last thing we'll talk about. But uh, I follow. Is it in Sky taking over next year? Is it? I have no for idea. You, Somebody for should. UK people. Someone should. So. But I think how they're going to do it is, uh, you know, like you get championship games on yeah. on Sky now, 
and on a yeah. Tuesday night or a Wednesday night, they normally go behind the red button. Yeah. Yeah. Not, obviously, I'm on Virgin. We don't get HD quality on Virgin. Do you know? Uh, on the red button. No. On Sky, it's probably like 5K or something, but on Virgin, it's rubbish. It's only like, it's it's rubbish. Wow. Uh, but if, 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 like, I think iFollow is still available for like international, obviously, but in the UK, I think it'd just be like Sky Sports and behind the oh, red be button. Good. Uh, but I don't know how that would work, kind of thing. Well, what? Because I know there. One thing that annoys me about I follow. If you watch a Premiership game, if you watch a Championship game, you get all interviews and everything as it happens. It glitches virtually not at all. And as you get down into First Division, Second Division, you might as well bang your head against brick wall because it's just. You look at it get ten minutes and a half. Yeah, because I know when was it Doncaster? Oh, what other game? Either Doncaster, Doncaster or who we played before? Last three games have glitched for me. Who played the other day? Not Doncaster. Played Malcolm. Who were glitched. It? We played Gillingham. Gillingham. When we played Gillingham, Gillingham. I think we were Casabian uh, were playing for about twenty thirty minutes because I had to listen I didn't to get it. On, uh, I had to get. I got absolutely I had to get my D, yeah. Didn't even get I had any to get sound. my little DBA radio out. Yeah. You didn't get any sound. Nothing. No. Oh. I was listening to it on 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 to Pulse. Radio, radio Leeds, Leeds I'm sorry, yeah. Radio Leeds, Leeds. that's yeah. it. Andy Kiwami. Yeah. Right. Uh, I was thinking about doing I was thinking about doing I follow for Monday for the day, but I might just listen to it on radio instead. Uh, are you going? I'm not going, no. Come on, bring the balance with me. I'm going up bus. No, I'm not I'd going, unfortunately, because I refuse to pay 27 quid a ticket. Come on. I can't. I refuse to pay 27 quid. Is that what it is now? You'll I might be hung over. You never know with me. You'll miss a good game. Hey, lad, Stockport fan oh, here. Uh, I've got a dodgy box to watch the away games on. It keeps buffering on Boxing Day. All right, right Jamie, point. welcome to the stream. <laughs> yeah. No, that, yeah. that's a dodgy box. Oh, dodgy box. <laughs> dodgy. And Dan's not going to like this person. Hi, lads. Slash lasses, political correctness and all that lot. Thank you. Just to put that in there, we don't discriminate on this podcast. <laughs> Definitely not. Bloody hell, well, I'm Karen, Anna. You are? So, Jamie, uh, I know you're just typing. I can just, just barely see it there. So, what do you think your prediction's going to be... Uh, for the game on tomorrow. And are you also coming to the game? If you want to type a little message in, I'll keep my little eye on it. And while you're typing it, we're going to go back because I know we love talking about food on this podcast. Uh, we do. We, do we, we talk about food all the time on this podcast, slash weather, <laughs> slash everything on this podcast. Plus Harry Lewis. Plus Harry Lewis because I know <laughs> Diana stalks him. <laughs> That's well, that well, if we're talking about food, I'm going to come out of the closet. I like a pizza, but I like a ham and pineapple with oh, mushrooms. No. Oh no! With mushrooms and pepperoni on it. God, just best thing ever. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm <laughs> kicking you out of space. Pineapple. Stop. I know pineapple it's controversial, but you know. Oh god! Hashtag. No. Hashtag. Do you know what? When we start doing now to the podcast. It's your name really start and a name. pudding all in one. It's great. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to add like, uh, do you know, like when you watch proper pod or listen to proper podcasts, <laughs> and they yeah. have like they have names. Yes. I'm going to re- I'm going to actually rename this podcast Bradford vs Stockport pretty much chat <laughs> slash pineapple on pizza, <laughs> <laughs> and everybody will leave. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and we'll have a mass, you mass help, exodus. You can't help what's your favourite, can you? So, yeah. I'm going gonna, gonna to get it go for another five minutes. So, because uh, I know we're having fun today, better than a couple of last weeks. Uh, so, have you got any pre game rituals? Yes. Me? Like, any of you? We've got, we've got ten I minutes, five minutes to, to kill. Costa. I used to have to go get a cappuccino and Costa coffee. I used to put on my way to Valley Parade. And that was your pre-game ritual? Yeah, that's after I've come... From, on a Saturday, it's go to my dad's, 
get the bus from my dad's to Bradford, go to Costa and get me Costa coffee and walk up to Valley Parade. Sorry to butt in, but Jamie, Jamie's just put, we both get a decent form, apart from injuries, has been plagued us. Any goals, I don't mind. Another 2-2 draw, what in a matter or a cheeky 2-1. Pineapple on pizza is a no-go for me. Exactly. Jamie, oh, respect. Yeah, respect. <laughs> pineapple on a pizza. Hashtag no, no, no pineapple. So exotic <laughs> for you, isn't it? I know. Well, that's Keith Lee, isn't it, really? <laughs> Sorry, Diane. So back, back to Diane. Don't swim up here. I'm not eating it. That's my ritual, yeah. And that's, uh, that's Costa Valley. What about you, Lee? Have you got a ritual? I have. I've got an half-time ritual, ritual as well. My ritual oh. is a coffee and a pork pie from Hopkinson's. Because we used to go to Philip Smith's in town and then walk up to the city, you know, like you do. Mm -hmm. And then get a coffee when you got there. So that's kind of kept that going. And then at half time, I have to have a balti pie. Oh. Or a meat and, oh. meat and tea. Bit of brown sauce, jobs are good. And, and a bit of bovril law, beef tea, oxo in my case. Yeah. That's it. So Nothing special. No ham and pineapple. <laughs> so my ritual is obviously uh, when I do drive, I uh, probably get a uh, shout with that. But I normally get to the ground about half nine, nine, park my car up when I can drive, sit in car for a bit, go and see club shop, go back to car, watch a couple of YouTube videos. And then uh, recently I've been going to City Vaults and just getting a bike to eat there, meeting my mates. And then yeah. come back and just watch a bit of bit of uh, League Two or Premier League or Championship or whatever's on Sky yeah. slash TNT. Yeah, I started meet, meeting mates as well before the match. Now it just adds a bit, done it to it, and you. I, I just wish I could I've, go. I, yeah. can't, I can't go to the city because I have no mobility these days. I can drive, but I'd have to sit in car outside and listen on radio, and I'm not going to do that. No. <laughs> no, that's not good, is it, Lee? It's not. Can't, I've got a problem with my coccyx as well, which is part all part and parcel, so I can't sit in a wheelchair. So, Jamie, uh, is put, I do have a season ticket, and I go to Royal Oak now and then, and then walk to the game around 2.30ish, depend on if it's sold out 7. I'm sold out at 7. Oh, well. I don't know. So do you think yeah, Stockport will ever produce oh. another Francis? Remember that six foot seven footballer striker you had? There's rumours that you've Me got... Me and my dad were talking about him yesterday. Well, there's apparently that a player that they've got now that's in the same mould. He's six foot odd. Bit of a giant. Biggest fella, than not Yeah, yeah, he can't be described as small at that size. No, my dad was talking about something like that Francis yesterday. Francis About that stop out player. player. Really good. But I can't remember what. I don't know if he, he stayed at Stockport forever. Mm. Yeah. Right, what time is it? Three minutes past eight. Is it really? Anyway, yes, it's, it's, we've had so much fun. We've talked about weather. We've talked about food. Uh, we've talked about Diane, uh, Diane's crush. Pardon? Uh, <laughs> and other bits and bobs. Oh, is, anyone is it a song any... crush? Mizzle crush? I don't know. It's a crush on Harold. Oh, crush. I thought you said thrush. Crush? <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's, that's, a diff that's a different podcast. Is it? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, no, that's, that a, <laughs> that's, a, that's a different podcast. That's a that's that's a that's an NHS doctors podcast. All right, well, I'll leave it to them. <laughs> <laughs> right before they Diane want absolutely. To see though, don't they? Oh, I don't no. know. <laughs> Here we go. I doubt it. Uh, so Jamie, I doubt it. I heard we got Eric Brutcho from MLS. He heard his quality for us pending international clearance. So oh, it looks like you're working on deals already, there, Jamie. Right, Miss Diane, any last yes. comments? 
No last comments apart from I'll say that I'm going to let Harry have a go and I'm still saying 3 1 to us. Lee, any last comments? I'm still saying 2 0 and it's been an absolute honour and a pleasure to talk to you all. Thank you. Let me in. <laughs> you, you can come. You can come next week, mate. You can oh, come. Uh, I'll come as often as I can. I'm, I, like yeah. I say, I've got starting in New Year. I'm back on line radio. So uh, when's our next game? Uh, Monday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. I play. So oh bloody hell! It's twenty eighth already. It is. Yeah. <laughs> right. Where is my calendar? Mm. Mine's on my phone. Same here, but I'm trying to get it on PC. <laughs> uh, here we go. Calendar, calendar, calendar. Like on with time. Here we go. I've got it. Jesus. So it's. How's he? So are you f- are you free on Sunday, Diane? Oh no. It's, uh. Anybody going out New Year's Eve? Because I'm not. I'm. I stay on New Year's Eve, so I'm all right. Yeah, I'm staying in. I'm being good. I, I always yeah, stay I'm in. Good. I mean, me and wife, we've been together now 44 years. Oh! I think yeah. you'd think no, there was something odd I'm, if I'm, I went out now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm def- I don't like going out New Year's Eve anywhere, so I'm all right. Mate. I don't. So many idiots about now, now. So many idiots out there <laughs> nowadays. Most of them are drunk. Yes. Oh, Jamie again. Can't wait for tomorrow's pizza bagel chips. <laughs> Can of Coke, BBQ sauce, and count on thy fellow. Good luck for the oh pizza burger. Can't wait tomorrow for my pizza burger, chips, can of Coke, and BBQ sauce. Don't and then count on pineapple. thy fellow. Good luck for the rest. Of, yeah, don't forget your pineapple, Jamie. <laughs> you have to add pineapple to that to that pizza burger. Yeah. That's under Lee's Lee's orders. It is. Right, Diane, you know what? To yeah, do. I am doing it. And I will click that button so i want to say thank you for everybody joining us uh you can also have us on all podcast services apple music spotify pandora i ha- yep you heard me right we're going global also you can get us on bradford city up the chickens on facebook also brace Hodge one on twitter and youtube and if you are really, really kind this Christmas, the only miracle I want is another, I think, 70, 80 subs on my YouTube channel to get monetized. So wherever you are in the world, good, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Thanks for listening. Happy New Year. Hi, I'm Danny Pellegrino from the Everything Iconic podcast, and who doesn't love a classic burger from McDonald's? That's right, McDonald's classic burgers are hotter, juicier, and tastier than ever. The patties are cooked to juicy perfection. I love the cheese perfectly melted on top. I love the Big Mac that has a special sauce in every bite. I love the pillowy soft golden bun. So in the words of the Hamburglar, rubble, rubble. which I believe means grab McDonald's best burgers ever before Hamburglar does at a McDonald's near you. This podcast is proud to be part of the TalkSport Fan Network. TalkSport. Powered by fans. <laughs>